Hey guys, and today we're on the Cardboard Connection. We're going to be doing a 2023 to 24 Upper Deck Series 1 product breakdown. So I already did a short version of this, and it got about 200 views. Um, I wish it got more views, but... Yeah, this one's going to be more in-depth. And one of the main things about Series 1 is that there's huge changes in it. And... Upper Deck's finally changing their configuration list. I don't really think they needed to, but they did. They changed it from 12 cards a pack. They changed it to 12 cards a pack and 12 packs per box to 8 cards a pack and 24 packs per box. And every pack now is an average of 3 inserts instead of 1. So that means if you open 12 packs and there are 3 inserts in each pack, that means you'll get 36 inserts a box instead of 24 that it always was, which is nice. And you also get a lot less base cards then. You'll probably you'll only average a hundred eight base cards in a box, but there's still odds for the old for the classic inserts. They just have reduced. They have like increased odds, so then you still get the same amount per box. And Upper Deck noted that it also applies to series two, an extended series. So these are the young guns. They're one and two packs. I really like the design of them. Um. So it's cool that it's weird that they have the upper deck in the back of that of Yaroslav Askarov's, and you still get them one in every six pack or one in six per box, one in every two packs, and also with the um better packs, random pack breaks will be a lot more fun with these because normally you just get like a canvas or a portraits. And I do not think Connor Bedard's Young Guns will be in this series because last, in 22-23, all the car carryover rookies were in Series 1. So they're not probably going to get a Young Guns until Series 2 if they were just drafted. So that's what I think will happen with Bedard. They're probably going to mass produce Series 2 or Extended. They might put Bedard in Extended just to draw some hype around the product. So yeah, there's new parallels as well, which is cool. So there's Outburst Silver, which are 1 in 15 for base and 1 in 60 for Young Guns. Clear Cuts are like at the same rate, 1 in every 4 boxes for base and 1 in every case for Young Guns. And now there are Deluxe Parallels, number to 250, Exclusives to 100, Outburst Red to 25, High Gloss to 10, and Outburst Gold are going to be the first one of one cards that are not printing plates. So they removed the French, which is good. And they just added another parallel, which I think will look nicer. So your canvas, I think it's supposed to be one in like, yeah, the canvas young guys are still one in every other box. Well, one in 24 packs. You'll still get four per box. And then there are black and white versions, which are one in four boxes. And then there are canvas signatures, which are always really rare. And now for the inserts, there are a lot of new inserts. I mean, since you're getting more inserts per in a box now, you'd have to have more inserts. So there's 200 by 85, which is like a 200-foot player, I'm assuming. There's, they're good offensively and defensively. You can get one of ones of these. Then there's Special Edition, 1 in 5, Star Zone, 1 in 7, and there's Star Surge, 1 in 7, which are on young, focused on young players. There's Teacher's Pet, it doesn't show that, but that's a weird one, 1 in 5. And then there's Dazzlers, it looks like Pink are still 1 in 144 packs, but now it's 1 per case instead of 2 per case. And then Blues are 1 in 12. Then honor rolls are now four per box. They're one and three, and it's only veteran players. Same with the Dazzlers. You can only get the rookies in Series 2 and Extended. Population count is an insert I think they added last year, but I haven't opened, like, a hobby box of Series 1, so I wouldn't have got one. I might open, like, some packs of Series 2 and Series 1 in the next random pack rake video, which will be out soon. So these are, look like graded cards. They look pretty cool, and they're acetate, and they're numbered. You can get them to a thousand, five hundred, two fifty, a hundred, fifty, and twenty-five. I think, right? Population count. 
We have 1,500, 150, 25, 10, and 1. And then portraits. I thought this was designed for all the portraits. It would be pretty funny. But UD promises that no two portraits are the same. So it's probably going to be like a weird thing. Or if they have a nickname, it will portray the nickname. Like David's the best player, so he's the king or something like that. So you can get parallels of stuff. They brought back debut dates and rookie retrospective. It just didn't mention them. Debut dates are 1 in 6. Rookie retrospectives are 1 in 8. You can get like gold parallels of pretty much everything. Um, which aren't numbered. I think they started that in this year's Series 1 or last year's Series 1. Which just is able to get you more packs made and stuff. There's also stat box fillers, which it doesn't mention, which are 1 in 6. And in every box, you're supposed to get six young guns, four canvas, an outburst silver, another parallel. So that's 12 things, two, 200 by 85. That's 14 dually dazzlers. That's 15, a wild card, 16, six inserts that get you to 22, six other inserts. A special edition stat surge and or star zone. So that's wait, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that gets you to 28 inserts and then 8 debut dates, rookie retrospective, stat fellows, and or teacher's pet. So that gets you to 36 inserts and it's supposed to release November 1st. And now it's 12, 12, and 12. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching the Series 1 product breakdown. Be sure to watch my short version. Go give it some support because it's my least viewed short. Probably going to keep uploading shorts every couple days since I get, tend to get a ton of views. Um, I'll have a pickups video soon, a month or a mail day video soon, a monthly recap video soon. And then in mid-April, I'll start uploading some breaks. So thanks for watching and bye. Yee, 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 yee.